Hey everyone, so I forgot to make a vid an intro before I started working on the bike, so I'm making it now. But in this video, it's going to be me putting on all of the parts that I bought from Go Power Sports and any how to's and any problems I faced putting on the parts to the bike. Um, I hope y'all enjoy the video. If y'all have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down in the comment area and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Okay y'all, so it's Sunday, I'm about a week in. Um, I've been taking some days off because I've been pretty busy, but um, for the most part, I've got everything down that I need. So starting off, I have the exhaust fully on, I have the gas tank where I need to put it, and then I have, um, well, I don't have the oil catch can just yet, but I do have an idea on where it's gonna go. So first off, I finally got my new belts in. Obviously, I've had some other belts like that and that that I put on didn't work. Um, so that's a, that's the belt that I had on it and it's super tight. It doesn't work. So I finally got some proper belts. They're premium belts. So hopefully that means they'll last longer or something. Um, that's the part number. I don't know. So... We actually contacted the seller on eBay and got the correct um, belts, which I dearly needed. Um, and then next, my dad dropped all of this stuff off when I wasn't home yesterday. So um, I have this for like gas line if I ever need it. This was all stuff that we did have already. So we didn't go out and buy it just so you don't know. Um, this is like oil line, what I would use for oil line. And then this, I guess, is really like an insulator, or I would use as an insulator if I'm going to like anything that needs to be insulated. Like around here, I might add some insulation because it will get pretty hot at the head um, because that's where all the combustion is happening pretty much, all the hot air. So I'm probably gonna do some um, insulation right there. I don't know just yet, but it's really the plan um so yeah that's really everything i need i needed the oil line the most because this is the only oil line i had oil tubing that i had and i need to put that catch can about right there probably somewhere close to right here i don't know but yeah it's coming along pretty great like i said the only thing i need is the wheel bearings now and then it should be good oh and i need to weld on a little bracket right there but none of that's gonna be too hard i'm sure i can finish this pretty soon maybe next weekend if possible but um yeah just stay to the end of the video to see the finished product
All right, guys, so finally finished up with my oil catch can. I think it turned out pretty decent for uh, what I could do, I guess. I don't have many materials right now to mount anything up. I mean, I reuse materials and use zip ties all the time, so um, yeah. <laughs> so what I did was just use zip ties, strapped it to the frame, to the corner of the frame right here and a couple other places. And then what I did from there is I did a long zip tie strand going all the way down, around, supporting the bottom. And then I went over that with duct tape on each side to kind of keep the zip ties in place so this won't turn and it, it'll stay there and it won't let the zip ties slip and all that. So I think it turned out pretty great or pretty decent anyways, not great, but um, I have some new oil uh, oil tubing. What I think I'm gonna do is run it from obviously right there, like I've been running it and then go straight through here and then like a dip into it. I think it'll work just fine. Yeah, it'll be something like that. And um, yeah, so this isn't what I'm gonna use. This is what I had on, but yeah, I think it's turning out pretty decent. Uh, I'll show you when I'm done. All right, everyone, so it's done. So it's as done as it can be for now. The only thing left is the wheel bearings. I have everything plumbed up. I have my new belt on. And it's the correct size. So going down the checklist, I have the gas line installed right here. I'm probably gonna replace this with some of this just to kind of change it up from this color. I don't know. I don't really like the brownish. Um, I have oil catch can lines. Um, throttles all hooked up. And then you can see it in there. I have a full throttle. I have the new exhaust on. Um, looks super badass. Can't wait to hear it. It's definitely going to sound a little different. I have the correct belt. I don't know if I already said that. Chain is completely straight. Sorry, I don't mind this piece of duct, this roll duct tape. Um, what else can there be done? Kill switch is all wired up. Um, everything should run, should work. I'll test that out later tomorrow. It's a little, it's getting a little late, but um, here's the working situation. Um, so yeah, so here's all the tubing I've used, um, duct tape, zip ties, this little makeshift tripod thing, my bobber, some tools, and I got tools in there, and yeah. So I think it's coming out pretty good. I'm gonna show y'all it when it's done. Okay, y'all. So this is the mock-up before everything is complete so obviously i have the gas tank and oil catch can done which is the only thing that i need to do before wheel bearings now i'm just waiting on wheel bearings hopefully i can get those this weekend i've been pretty tied up with school and all that and i don't have a ride but yeah other than that everything is going along great um one thing is my exhaust is not straight but i don't really care too much about that um yeah anything else N nothing too crazy um i was kind of debating on whether or not i should remove the um hinges and just do like a normal gas tank or a normal uh seat situation like how it came but then i decided you know it's just easier to have it on a hinge to work on it um yeah other than that everything is going great sorry car just passed but yeah so up and coming things that i might be doing is you know some small things i'm gonna get a new brake shoe um i saw it on some guy's youtube asked him where he got it he got it off of amazon's ebc water jet cut brake shoe or something like that so i'm gonna get a new brake shoe uh probably 90 degree angle uh, spark plug boot the aluminum oil catch can from go power sports and probably still mounted up there because i kind of do like that positioning and all that 
Um, maybe one of those aluminum uh, gas tanks, new grips, like I've been saying. Maybe even a thr thumb throttle. I don't know. And then a new uh, brake lever and maybe even a front brake. Who knows? But yeah, so that's everything that's going on right now. Uh, just waiting on wheel bearings and then everything will be good to go. Okay guys, so I finally got the garage cleaned up, but that's not the only good news. So it's actually great news. I finally found the wheel bearing that I needed. So um, I don't actually remember the specs on the wheel bearings and stuff, but um, this is the wheel bearing. This is the um, bushing. And then this is the wheel spacer, obviously. So I need a bushing because I couldn't find a perfect wheel space or a wheel bearing for it. This is the axle bolt. You can see it pretty clearly here. It, everything is pretty tight. Looks good. Um, I will have to cut the wheel spacers to length, which will be hard. I'm going to save that for another day. Um, some other great news is I finally have my welder at my house, at my mom's house. It, my dad got it for me for Christmas. Mom wanted me to keep it at my dad's. Finally got to bring it over here. So this is my welders, Flex 125, Flex Core 125 welder. Something from Harbor Freight, just a cheap beginner welder. I have my cheap cutoff wheel. I have my um, adjustable uh, welding table. Works great, trust me. Um, if you need a small welding table, there's one for a good price. Um, I have my welding helmet, I have an auto darkening welding helmet, and then I have a mask that you can hold, um, while, like, just in case someone wants to watch you weld or whatever. So, yeah. Um, then I have gloves, obviously. I have some, um, metals that I'm, that I'm gonna practice welding with. And then here's, like, one that I've already done welding on, and those are some of my welds. They're not the best. This is my first time welding but they're strong and they work so that's all that i care about for right now anyways um so one thing i'm gonna have to use the water on is a kickstand i'm gonna make another video of me shortening the kickstand because it sits way too it like leans when okay, the kickstand i'm gonna show you what i've been doing so um just got this tab it started off as this and then uh got it down to this I think it looks pretty good. It's gonna weld straight up to right there. Um, obviously, I'm gonna have to remove the paint and whatnot, but I think it's looking very good. It's gonna line up just right with the bolt or the bolt hole in the gas tank. And then I'll show you my area. This is what it's looking like. Using my welding table and all these sort of things. All right, guys, this is what I spent the whole afternoon working on. So this is the metal tab that I welded on. Obviously, I welded it just now. Um, it's a starter sham. It's like 0 0.042 of an inch. So that's 42 thousandths, I think, of an inch. Hundreds, I don't know. Um, and then what I did for the bolt to hold it is i used a old carburetor stud welded on this um uh nut and then just welded it onto the small thread side dropped it down i marked where i need to weld a washer i welded a washer ground it down so it, that way it could fit through this hole and then uh it went all the way through and um i just came up short like this whole build pretty much so the threads ended where sorry this nut ended so there's still just a tiny bit of room that still needs to be filled so what i think i'm going to do is i'm probably tomorrow going to take everything apart cut it 
maybe right right where it hits the um gas tank and then cut this off and weld more thread to it for like a longer style thread or maybe i'll i'll just cut it and then cut the thread up and then move it up i don't know something like that to move the thread up but other than that it's turning out pretty great um that's really the only thing i have left besides um spacers all right okay guys so finally cut my bearings and got them installed so um right now they are an inch and a half so right let me just put that right here so an inch and a half so that would mean they are about two and a half inches and so what i did was i put one spacer on this side squished it and then there was an inch and a half left or no it was like uh three eighths of an inch or something like that so we had subtracted that and then we got an inch and a half so y'all are probably going to need maybe an inch and three quarters because i have these bronze bushings um but yeah don't take my word for it that's just what i would think so um yeah it it spins great that was a weak span but yeah so just attached it to the welding table covered it in electrical tape put it right here used a clamp and then cut it with the, an actual wheel and then came at it with the sandpaper and that's the finished product all right y'all so everything's coming out really good so um yesterday what i did was i did a lot of fabricating yesterday um i made my my girlfriend this little flower thing for valentine's day um just clear coated it that's why it's hanging up uh some other things that i have done this week is i welded on this bracket and then i uh, shortened my kickstand because obviously if you shorten tires that's about how much i took out of it um obviously going from 20 inch 19 inch tires to 11 and 10 inch tires um big old difference so um yeah i had to shorten the kickstand hopefully this will be good enough um i need to go ahead and put it on the bike i don't have time because i have a pretty busy day today um doing other things outside of my house but yeah the whole thing is coming along just fine um, as soon as I get that kickstand on, I'm done with the with this project, and then all I have to do is start her up. Should be rolling and going. Um, obviously, wheel bearings and wheel spacers, and then um, all I need to do just throw some gasoline in there, and then she'll be all good. Probably should do an oil change soon. Um, I'll need to check the oil, but other than that. So I'm finally done with this project. So it took me about a month to com fully complete this from when I ordered it to when I posted the video online. So um, I'm going to go ahead and talk about some things that I've done to it and off of camera and, you know, go over everything, see, see if y'all should do it, if it's worth it, blah, blah, blah. So all around this kit or this project cost me about about 300 maybe a little bit more than 300 bucks to do including all the hardware you know some other things bearings stuff that i had to buy other than just this you know just the parts that i ordered on go power sports so first off i wanted to talk about some of the smaller things the belts the belts um i had to get new belts because um i had the wrong size belts because all of my other belts were getting eaten up from a certain thing i don't know so this belt i actually had one rip up i i did like a full speed 
thing and it ripped up it got it fell off the driven pulley and then fell into the chain got wrapped in the chain so that was no good um i'm just having no good luck with these torque converters so i am going to switch over to a clutch this summer hopefully but for now i switched my i have like three different driven pulleys so i switched out them and hopefully that's good but um another thing i've i've done is move the engine over about half an inch i dremeled them out i don't know if i made a video on that i'm pretty sure i did but it makes this, the chain straight and even um next is the exhaust so the exhaust there's some good things about it and then there's some bad downfalls so number one super duper loud i don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing it's good if you're you know very obnoxious person or racing i would re really recommend this for racing but for you know a neighborhood with like an hoa stuff like that not the best i mean i haven't had any personal complaints but i've only driven it for about three days and um i feel like if i drove it every single day for you know a year i will definitely start to get complaints so i'm not too sure if i'm gonna be able to keep that on plus it sounds like a two-stroke when i decelerate it goes like i don't know just if you've ever heard two-stroke you'll probably know what i mean when they let off the gas it like sounds all staticky i guess i don't know best way to explain it or it, i don't know maybe it's like <sighs> Man, I, I don't even want to try and explain it. It'll be just a jumble of words. Um, but yeah, so the exhaust, I like it, but I don't. So that's, you know, proceed with caution on that one. I don't know if you would like that or not. But um, yeah, so I had to reroute or I had to rearrange my gas tank and oil catch can. My oil catch can was right there. I moved it to right here to fit this gas tank. All I did was use a bunch of zip ties and um, duct tape. Definitely not show worthy, but, you know, it does a job. It's pretty sturdy. And that's wiggling the whole bike. And same with this. So I just welded this tab on. Use this big old bolt. Smack that with a hammer down in there with this little square piece that keeps it from turning smack that down in there holds perfect then i reused these that i had and there you go and then this is oil catch can line i need to feed it back in there a little some i think it kind of came out i don't know how but um here's a gas line so it goes through the filter through the fuel shutoff valve down to the carb and i think it feeds pretty good for what it is um, I don't use a fuel pump because this little nipple will not handle it, like not at all. So I don't use a, a fuel pump anymore. Um, my carb is not working correctly. I don't know if I have like a leak or something. I'm going to figure that out after this video. Maybe I'll post another video on this about that, but I don't know. Um, now going to the front. So the front is where the main focus of it was what it is it worth it to you um what are the purposes of buying it and all that so normally someone would buy this universal front suspension kit for like off-roading i personally just bought it for going up driveways to be honest going up driveways it always pops me out of my seat and it's not fun so i thought this might be better and especially if i'm going high speeds and hit like a pothole that would definitely help so i bought it I don't think it works, to be honest. Um, you know, I, I've i thought about switching back to that because, you know, number one, this is a lot heavier than that. And I'm actually surprised because this is really heavy. Um, and with that whole setup, it's definitely a lot heavier than the normal handlebars. So with that front suspension kit from go power sports i don't think it's worth it it doesn't seem to have any suspension in it at all really like i could pick it up and drop it for you Ugh, it's a little heavy sorry yeah it doesn't really work um so i would i wouldn't recommend spending that hundred bucks on it now um, I don't think it, you'll get your money worth or really anything for that matter, but, um, 
Yeah. And then the handlebars. Handlebars, they're too low for me. Um, I, I like the way they look, and I like the idea of it, but they're just way too low. Like, these hit my knees. And then, yeah, so I want to either get a taller riser, you know, whatever these are, clamps, taller ones to where they extend higher. So these are up higher. Either that or new handlebars that go up higher so they clear my legs. Now, if I could do something like have my feet back here on like a peg back here, then that would be totally fine. And then I could be in like a little Superman position, like a drag racer. That would be fine. I would be totally happy with that. So maybe that's what I do instead of going out and buying new things. Maybe. I don't know. That's just an idea. But that's really just the complaints about that. I have nothing but good news to say about the front wheel and tire. I'm super excited with how it looks and came out. I think the skinnier looks a lot better with the whole setup I have and the height. My other one, it was kind of squatting and, you know, it was too fat. This rides a lot better in my opinion. And, you know, I think it just looks better and looks, even if it's not what I'm, like, I'm in that, I'm envisioning it as a drag bike. Maybe some people envision it as, you know, sports bike, whatever, who cares? I, th I still think it looks pretty good. But yeah, so is it really worth it? Is it not? Um, it's really up to you guys. Um, I think, I think it was worth it because, you know, even though it was kind of expensive to do, um, I think it still turned out pretty good. And even though it's not functional, still looks good and is more of my style, but you know, that's really up to you. So if you like this video and you want me to do more things like this, let me know down in the comments. Um, give me ideas for future videos, stuff like that. You know, if you like the bike, let me know down in the comments if you would like to see a different part on it, something like that. Um, I would, I will try my best to get that part. Um, I don't know just yet, but, um, yeah, if you like the video, like it, subscribe to my channel, um, Share it with friends if you think they'll enjoy this. I know I will always enjoy this type of stuff, learning on how people do this thing, this style of stuff. Um, yeah, and then hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I update new videos or up upload new videos, sorry. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it.